so these are the functions which we commonly use mm, one function we have seen get identity and we can collect n number of entities using this collect entities function so we will see this one right now third earlier uh, this p shell contains uh, so many faces that that one i am going to collect over here collect entities if you type so base dot collect entities has come mm, if you double click so these are the arguments sorry these are the parameters which we need to pass here as arguments so first one is deck so that is same. the next one is container so now i am i know that the p shell contains the faces so i am putting this p shell which is stored as an entity so that as the container and then i am I want to collect face so this is the keyword to collect and then the fourth argument which we need to pass is recursive we will come back to it later so th this function returns something to us so that is this function returns a list so that list needs to be stored under this one which is faces underscore one is equal to I assigned it so I want to print that faces list so if i run now why okay p shell we changed the id so we need to see 4143 okay we will change why okay cool now if i run yes everything runs good so it returns uh, so many things as faces so I need to use I can find uh, how many elements are present in a list using this function length that um, passing this faces and again I am printing so I have 46 faces uh, in particularly in, in this PID so we can check this just go to GUI and show only that so go to faces info if you select okay or shells I'm going to collect how many shells so this also needs to be changed elements in a meaningful way ok 
okay we run before that we need to mesh this so spot mesh visible so uh, we have 477 elements we will check out now yes we need to use recursive now true now it will run why because uh, the use of recursive is something like this uh, when you wanna collect uh, a one an entity which is present in uh, p shell then um, uh, actually uh, from a shell if uh, if you collect an grid then no need to pass uh, this recursive you no need to search until its uh, lowest level uh, but when you want to collect uh, information of a grid from an answer group then the recursive needs to be set true so that you will get from this slide so first thing we are collecting uh, p shell and from that i am just collecting shell here i am passing false and when i am collecting uh, grid informations directly from um, p shells i need to pass this recursive as true We will make this uh, false. We check. It is not giving anything. So from a P shell, if I want to collect shell, so these two are not in uh, next to each other in the uh, level of container that means after p shell i think maybe face may come because if i pass face then recursive is set to false then it is returning uh, that's the idea now if i want to collect the p shell from to grid then if the grid is none it is not returning that means it is true now the list will contain its elements so totally 444 grids are present I think now we will optimize our code uh, first instead of declaring the deck each time whenever you use uh, entity most of the time you will be using this uh, argument so you save this as cut provide here because parameter is that and the argument is this one you are saving that so whenever they count this oh. okay then here also you put as deck so code looks somewhat simple and if you want to make header just type like this uh, 
uh, tell here itself what is your script is oh, it's uh, entities in detail that's it so i think we can end up this session thanks for watching have a good day